All right, what's up, guys? We're adding some new stuff to this is Project UAC Glock uh, slash GQB Speed, whatever. Um, I'm just having fun with this project and uh, just trying to make it um, light, not light as possible because there's some options that I could go with are lighter. But you know, I just I, I'm not going to because, like, you know, for an example, I want this extended mag release, but it's you know it's full metal and you could get a gutter the garter plastic extend one that would be lighter and we got the mag well I'm going to be putting it on here because I think it looks really cool so we're going to be going over these four items we have the UAC tactical mag well we have the the UAC speed shoot what is it no speed shoot sight for TM Glock 17 uh, I'm hoping this is lighter I'm pretty sure it's lighter than the adjustable one that was on here and we have the steel fire fire pin for the Glock 17 as well, or actually you could use them both. But I'm hoping they release the uh, valve reset, so that means the whole lower would be uh, steel except for the the chassis, obviously. And then we have the enhanced hammer spring. I don't think I actually put that in here. After looking at this, this looks like a stock team in here. So we're gonna upgrade the hammer chassis, and I have these guys on the side. But this is going to be a separate video because I want to know if we get any FPS increase. And what we're going to do is we're going to chrono this guy first before I do any of these these upgrades. And this one will be a separate video. So I'm, th I'm just going to break them up into two. Not a part one and part two. But this one will be for, you know, the nozzle valve, the valve block. Um, nozzle spin, I really don't think it makes that big of a difference. But we're going to be... We'll, we'll, we're going to put that in anyways, and we're going to be putting a RA Tech. This is a 601 with um, Reaps, or you can just auto buy it, whatever you guys want to call it. All right, and then uh, let's take these out of the bag. I'm excited for this. It's good to get back to this guy. He's been on the uh, burner for quite some time, and I just... I was like, you know, I have these, you know, let's, just, let's do it. Let's upgrade them. And I, I know people are thinking, what the hell is up with the grip? Like, once again, I'm having fun. I'm trying to just reduce some weight. Uh, I did pick up the Pro Win Max, guys, for the Glock. So I will be reviewing on that. And, you know, this is just another, you know, just playing around with it. The cool thing is, now I can do what I did with these on the Pro Wins. If, that, if I turn out they, if they are cool and I like them. I'll probably mod my um, my Pro Wing Glock Max, and then you know with these ports you can see these colors now. So that's the whole thing, and at the same time you're reducing weight. Let me show you guys it. These you know these crazy cuts or whatever you want to call them do reduce weight. Here is the weight of a modified grip. Okay, 84 grams versus. Here's a unmodified TM grip. You guys can see right there. You guys will really see. So you guys believe me. <laughs> and then uh, let me show you that this is TM as well. All right, so they're both TMs. It should be like, I took off like 10 grams or something. Okay, yeah, this, this is, oh, my bad guys. This is 95.1 grams. So, you know, I dropped off a little weight. You know, every every little bit adds up. So, let's start. Let's start with the magwell. Let's see how much the magwell weighs. We'll put that in here. I'm excited. This looks really cool. I think it goes in hand in hand with their mag. I, I could have sworn they had base plates. I, I, I did the review on their high cap one. All right, there. Let's see how much this guy weighs. 19.7. That's not bad at all. I don't know if it's the lightest, but I want a Magwell on here. I, I know I do, so I'm putting this guy in here. Let's see how he looks. The stippling made it tough. There you go. I've already tried other Magwells on here. Not bad. Check that out. I think it looks pretty cool. Can we screw this in? 
Okay. Let's see if it's at the right spot. I think I'm probably going to opt for a smaller screw. Like those ones that go into the grip, I actually don't like these screws. So I, I would actually minus points for this. Like I understand that it's holding it, but damn, that's that's annoying. Who wants this big obtrusive screw right here? Yeah, I'm gonna have to change that. That's being changed. I'm not accepting that. All right. Ah, oh, shit. Battery just showed a half signal, but we're gonna continue anyways. Oops, not the camera, there we go. You can see, all right, I need one with the base plate. All right, let's move on. I wanna see how much this one weighs versus the adjustable. Let's do a zoom in. This is what was on here originally. This is the adjustable UAC sight. Very cool, but I'm pretty sure this speed one's actually gonna beat it pretty good. Look at this speed one. I'd say it's pretty awesome looking, but I just want something that's lighter, but it's not plastic. Okay. 4.5 versus, woo, nine. That's a big difference. I'll, I'll take that. All right, that guy's out of the picture. We're gonna. Uh, I wish I could use this one, but I can't because I don't have the 18. 18. This one is so light compared to the the stock TM ones. It's so light. These are about what 36 or something. 36.1 grams versus a non-ported version. 36.6. So you know, I might try to cut this up so to reduce some weight. Let's start. Let's start installing the upper. The upper is easier, and then and we we don't need to do any reviews on this. I've already done a review on this stuff. This is the UAC version two with the loading nozzle. What we're going to be doing in the separate the second video is checking if we get any. FPS increase from installing the internal parts and then we'll be installing the type wire as well. Let's put this guy in here. It's getting hot in here, man. I actually regret closing the garage door. I try to close the garage door to prevent like the noise from the street, but at the same time it just it gets hot. You'll see my arms I, I start sweating in here. Alright, we just need a screw. There we go. So we'll get the upper up and running. And then we'll do a weigh in just to see how we're doing. Coco, you alright? I don't know if you guys heard. I think she's snoring or she just made a noise. Let's install the front side back. You could do without the front sight, but I just, I want it in here. Cause there's some parts I left out in here that, you know, you really don't need. Technically speaking, I don't even use my sights when I'm playing. I'm more of a instinctual shooter. So, you know, I shoot my first shot and I sort of track from there. I just usually point my gun in. Back then when I wasn't fat as shit, I, I ran a lot, so I just sort of point and shoot and get moving a lot. This, I'm just this, I think I was I was a speed player before there was speed CQB, which is really funny to see how times have changed. But I still like that style. Once I start making excuses, I'll get back in. All right, and then we have the UAC um, aluminum blowback unit. No, I'm sorry, hop up unit, stock inner barrel and blocking. So that's still stock. And what else? We have a guide rod that's not, it's not UAC. I forget what this guide rod is. It's, you know, it's short stroked a little bit. There's a buffer in here. That completes the upper. Let's just do the weigh in, see how heavy we are. But it's actually, you know, it's pretty light, 
compared to other stuff. Alright, the full upper is 132 grams, 0.4, which I'd say is pretty light. That's, that's a good start. Next up, we have the fire pin and the hammer spring. We need to install that in here. If you guys need installation videos on this, I have videos for that. Um, actually, we'll weigh the steel one versus the stock TM. So let's take this out. I will turn on the light. Okay. Just in case you guys want to see this, but once again, I already, you know, I have videos on this stuff, so. I'll have to check the website, but I'm pretty sure I feel like I bought most of their stuff. Okay, let's put that down here. Alright, this is UAC, and I'll give them, guys, this is very nice. It's very smooth. They did a, they did a good job. Let me zoom in on that. It's too much light, maybe. No, it's not too much light. Okay, you guys see? That's the only line I can see, but it's not a, like a, a, a line that you can scratch. I mean, you feel with your nails. So this is very smooth, very nice. And this is a stock TM. Let's see the difference, if there's any big difference or not. 1.8 grams versus 1.9 grams. So very small. don't think we need the weight skill anymore we are going to start replacing put stock over here stock we have UAC over here I believe they said it's like a hundred thirty percent I could be wrong so it's not like a hundred fifty percent let's see if I can get this in one take Okay, yeah, much easier. The only one that's a nightmare I hate installing, but they work well, <laughs> are uh, the guns modify. Man, those those are pain in the ass to install, especially with my fat fingers. Nightmare. Yeah, it does. It, it does. It definitely does not feel like a 150. That's for sure. I'd probably say like a 130, maybe 140. All right, let's start assembling the lower here's another thing memory how you guys has, how I said let me turn off the light we don't need that much now how I said certain things I want to choose that could be lighter but I'm choosing to stick with this metal uh, battery is officially dead let me stop here and replace the battery ah, damn it. all right we are back the gun is assembled and it's just, it's stupid I forget how light this gun is it's insane. Let me show you guys. Let's see. If, can we actually... The funny, it's not even... You, you could actually, you know, the magwell. You don't need magwell. You could keep plastic. You know, it's trigger. It's just... You could you could drop even more. It's just stupid. Let's see if we can get a on here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, guys. It's just... Oh, damn. You can't even see that. Let me... This one you have to see. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you guys see that? It's 318 grams. This weighs less than a TM mag. Let me, do I have one over here? There you go. I got it. Here's a TM chrome mag. This is 365. Let's see, okay, I got a TM, I got a TM mag. I don't think it weighs less than this. It could be, but. No, okay, this is this is 290 grams, but imagine you have a, you know, a, a Glock, a TM Glock magazine in your hand with a, maybe a, a heavy base weight. That's what this guy weighs, but he doesn't, he feels so much lighter than the, because it's spread out instead of this one compact thing. It's just, oh man, it's insane. I'm really happy with this. I, this is annoying the shit out of me. It's, oh, all right, all right, let me. We're gonna test it. We need to see if it actually does if it shoots. Uh, so we're gonna hope for that. And then what we're gonna try to do is we're, we're gonna get at least ten shots. 
and we'll split into okay now we're not gonna split with this the other video will sort of correlate and I'll talk about it in the other video because we need to see what this chrono is before we upgrade the loading nozzle and the inner barrel so let's these are black 20s airsoft GI 20s matrix 20s whatever you want to call it okay what are we at this is HPA we were at 100 PSI. Let's just get a couple of shots in here. Got my safety glasses, glasses on. That's what I'm talking about. See, once I get those, I'm going to review those pro wins that maybe this time instead of putting the logo on the on the back, I'll have fun with it. We'll, we'll try putting it on the side. So that's something, something like this on the side. I don't know what, but hopefully they're good. I'm, I'm sort of, I'm sort of betting that the pro wins will be good. All right, let's do this. Let's just aim it over there a little. Can you guys see this? These are okay. It's on 20. I think you guys should be able to see that from there. Or I'll just read it out to you guys. Oh yeah, I'm blocking it. How about right here? In the bottom right. Okay, well it's firing. Damn, the recoil is nothing. Oh man, it's just this feels so badass right now. I don't know. This is this is I I definitely run CQB Glock lightweight. Woo! All right, let's let's take a look at the average. So we all right. It's about 306. What? It only registered three shots. I don't know. I guess maybe when I look at the footage, I'll check. But the average was for three shots, but that's you know that's fine. It's the HPA anyways. Two ninety nine, three oh nine, three oh nine. Let's just this is three oh six. So damn, what's up with this marker? That one's like all bleeding and stuff. Let's just put, we're going to put stock, STK, we'll put 306. Ah, damn it. It's my chrono. Ah, oh, shit, that's what it is, guys. Look at that, top right. It's out of batteries. Man, what is it today? Shit. All right, let's just move on. Well, I'll, I'll just... The other video I'm just going to chrono and I'll, I'm pretty sure it'll be around that FPS. Okay, and this was 100 PSI. It looks like 100 PSI from here. It's a silver to my right. Alright, that's it for this video. We used, we put in the the Magwell, the Speed Sight. Oh, I didn't show you guys that, that but that's definitely cool. But I like it because it's lighter than the adjustable. Which, you know, it should be. It's a lot smaller. Alright, and then we have the fire pin and the hammer screen, which you guys see this working no problem. I didn't really expect any issue from those two. And we have, this is the uh, Ace One Arms trigger. I just wanted to put something that looked a little different from the stock one. And Ready Fighter, and then Ken's Prop. I, I think I'm probably going to paint this black. That being white sort of annoys me. But I wanted something like this. Or maybe I might switch it back to normal. I don't know. We'll figure out. But damn, this is looking cool. And it's shooting cool. And that's definitely what I want. Something lightweight. Easy to move. And we'll have, we'll see how it does outside. Maybe we'll uh, I'll do like a, a full video on this gun. Alright, I'll see you guys around.